Hello and welcome everyone. This is for the sign of Cancer. And what is new with you for spring? So we're going to pull a few oracle cards from Messages of Love. We have the um, Fortunes Oracle and then the Zodiac Oracle and Universal Golden for the Read Upright and then the Rider Waite Mini for Clarifiers Upright and Reversals. So let's start out with Messages of Love. They're all pre-shuffled. This is for the sign of Cancer. What's going on April to May here? What is new? What is new for spring for Cancers? Cancer, 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 Cancer. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. At the bottom of the deck is a decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. I think that the next card that was coming out was addictions. So an addiction might be affecting the relationship here. And then here for the sign of cancer, the fortune oracle. This is for cancer. What is, what is new for you this spring? We have the plane. Maybe you're traveling, you're rising. The 26 is the page of wands. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. And we also have the lovers here. The 18, which is the moon in romance. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. The bottom of the deck is patience. 24 is the queen of wands and omega. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Patience. All right, let's put these up here. So perhaps some traveling, whether within or without, here and now, or in this plane of existence. Let's see if we can get these cards to stay up. They're kind of heavy. And then we have which element, which sign, or which planet is most significant for Cancer right now. Okay, so for Cancer. Which sign, element, or planet is most significant for you right now? Okay, the moon. So there's romance again. And the number 14, which is the temperance card of angels and angelic realms, a higher love. But she looks a little bit of, you know, there's some, some uh, sadomasochistic dress there. And we have Mercury here too. So you have the moon and Mercury, so conversation 15 on here, which is the shadow of conversation, of, of knowledge. And the moon card is the 14 of patience, and you have patience over here as well. The bottom of the deck is water, 24 again, the queen of wands and omega. So water's in the underlying energy moving away, but the moon is still water, so the moon energy and Mercury energy, so a lot of subconscious energies, communications, romance, and messages coming in or deliveries, deliverance, and you have M&M &M there too. All right, so let's get going with your read. So the sign of Cancer, April and May, 2023. Sign of Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Sign of Cancer, the crab, for April to May 2023. <sighs> Sign of Cancer, April to May 2023. Sign of Cancer. First card out for you here is the Three of Swords. And somebody else just had this in the center today. I think it was Taurus, but I'm not sure. So it could be some kind of separation or heartbreak or healing here. It could be a disappointment. This can be bad weather as well. If you're going out camping, you wouldn't want bad weather. So let's see why that's coming up. There could be third party interference or third party situation there as well. And you're, you're being called to make a decision about a relationship with patience and emotion 
here and now that your true love is already part of your life and then taking a trip within or without regarding the lovers and then a communication and romance the subconscious energies here so the challenge here for you is the knight of wands and that's your get up and go this was the one that lights the fire under your butt to get going or someone who just likes to be very active this can be someone who comes in and sweeps you off your feet or is that the challenge for you to be the person who sweeps someone else off their feet or is this just being challenged to get up and go after feeling disappointed or heartbroken or after a long trip out in the mountains or out in the country or whatever you're doing outside and the foundation here is the six of cups the innocent children your inner child loving each other and this it's feeling a little bit twin flamey because saying your true love is already part of your life doesn't have to be in the physical if you're a twin flame it could be a, a an energetic connection and this comes up with this as well and the separation so it doesn't have to be that but that could be at play here as well and then in the recent past here is the two of swords of being in your knowing keeping to yourself I was blind but now I see it's been coming up for other people as well just keeping your energy clear staying balanced peace of mind being more important to you than getting more information and then crowning here for you cancer is the king of Pentacles and he came up in the center of Gemini's read here but he is crowning in your present moment perhaps speaking taking charge this could be someone who's had a stroke um, this could be someone who just tends to you know limp their left wrist um, but he's you know he's a man of responsibility he takes care of people he's worked very hard to become who he is and maybe he's thinking of retiring or instead of doing things physically he's doing things now like speaking more practical things so what's coming up soon for you is the seven of swords and in this deck it's very much about guilt and shame of walking away after doing something perhaps he knew was wrong and now being made to feel guilty maybe he never did feel guilty before but there could be shame coming up as well which nobody should feel shame um, you know it's probably regarding wounding from childhood and that kind of thing or made to feel guilty or feeling a disappointment to somebody else but this can be lying cheating and stealing it can be running away ghosting it could be taking someone else's words or information and again this could be a fair gypsies tramps and thieves comes up with this deck and the tents lined with gold over here Morocco just came up as well so there could be something regarding that or along those lines you see yourself as the ten of pentacles which is the ultimate family of wealth community of wealth um, it could be a business of wealth too or big business that has a lot of money associated with it this can be heaven on earth as well but there's a generational energy in here with you know the grandfather in a chair and then the parents and the children the dogs this could be generational wealth or a very wealthy family this can be the nursing home but this you're seeing yourself as this okay and maybe someone wants to put you in a nursing home or maybe you need to put your parent or somebody in a nursing home or some kind of facility and maybe someone's feeling cheated or feeling guilty for doing that around you are what other people might see you as is the three of pentacles and this came up side by side in another read too up here where this was the ten of pentacles and this is the three of pentacles over here I think that was Taurus today but um, others see this as something small whereas you see the legacy in it or the something big here maybe they, they see your business but maybe they don't realize that you come from a very big business oriented family or a wealthy family others see you as you know just keeping things small but you see yourself as something big that your dreams are much bigger than what people understand and the block for you here is the the moon again which came up in the other cards the oracles is about the subconscious and romance about what lies beneath in the shadow and the dogs seem confused here right that lobsters up in arms and they're not howling at the moon they're confused by the moon they're looking to the lobster for answers 
and this is the block for you. So you're challenged by the Knight of Wands of that get up and go or the Knight in Shining Armor who kind of, or the one who just comes in to sweep you off your feet. Perhaps after being disappointed or heartbroken, but this is a very significant connection here, perhaps a past life connection. Being challenged by the Knight of Wands and being blocked by the subconscious, perhaps wounds that still need to come up or cancer energies or just romance in general. The full moon might have been a block that just came up as well because it could have confused people and put the lobster up in arms. And they're like, huh, we don't get it. <laughs> Which normally they'd be howling or screaming at the full moon. But there's some guilt around this here. R around disappointment or heartbreak or separation. Forgiveness, apologies. And how to go about this romance. What's coming up at the end here is the Queen of Pentacles with no emotions to dip her toes into, but she is very natural and not wearing any shoes. And she is the natural partner in the decks to the King of Pentacles. As they sit, they take their thrones next to each other. That's something new. That's what's new for spring for you. Very interesting. Um, what's connecting you, the bridge here for you, is the Page of Wands. And this is a very shaman energy, but very galactic as well. Right, standing on top of a plateau there, like feeling in charge of the world, you know, claiming their their stake right there, staking their ground, being inspired again like a child, excited about something, uh, excited about breaking new ground, which is interesting too, because I'm trying to break up some concrete that's been in my backyard for over 30 years. And I'm, and I'm getting like what lies beneath is interesting. And there's wiring underneath the concrete that's keeping it held together. So I'm working, I need to get somebody else. The first person didn't have the equipment to get it up. But I really felt some awful energies being released with this ground breaking. So I'm kind of wondering what else is going to come up when they get the rest of the cement up. So there is a very shaman energy around that. And for those of you, obviously you don't know, I'm Cancer Rising, so that, that's why I'm telling you my experience. But the what's hanging in limbo here at the end of the read is the Empress. And again, she's sitting in a, in a glove. It looks like a baseball glove, a catcher's mitt. Catcher in the Rye just came up. And then on a golf course, perhaps, maybe live near a golf course, or you know, she wears her heart out for everyone to see. Um, this could be someone who's pregnant. It could be a mother, a grandmother, perhaps someone who likes ice cream or sherbet, perhaps with nuts, or perhaps people think she's a little bit nuts, but that's okay with her. Um, this also could be mother and daughter here. Perhaps the daughter is very inspired by the mother. This could be, if this is a mother, this could be two grown children here, and perhaps a pet or a child who's inspired. That could be a grandchild. There could be two. We have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands right here. And I'll put a few more cards down in case we need them later. But um, let's see what's going on underneath the deck. All right. So the underlying energies, we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Star card, the Four of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. So this is the Eight of Swords has to do with anxiety, feeling imprisoned, um, feeling trapped. It's underneath that one. Hold on, I think there's another card. Yep, yeah, Prisoner of Love. <laughs> that came up with the little cards, I think, in another read. So it's the same cards next to each other. And maybe it wasn't the lovers, but it was still the Prisoner of Love energy. So this is that kind of energy that's coming up and that the truth will set you free. The truth comes in to the lovers the prisoner, making them a prisoner of love, or perhaps setting them free. And again, seeing synchronicities or taking a gamble. Again, there could be confusion where there's too many choices, but this could be heaven in your eyes. Or, or of the king of wands, who's kind of checking something out down here with a little lizard on their platform. Again, could be eyeing their money clip slippers over here, or wanting to be just like them. And again, someone who may be taking a break 
resting, praying, meditating, again, covering their sacred energy over here, or perhaps their legs, if they have any leg energies or issues or feet issues, um, you know, guarding their truth, their sacred energy. Maybe they're not having any sex right now and just meditating a lot. And this could be someone looking, you know, the King of Wands could be looking to see if they're still on break, if they're back to work, or what the heck are they doing down there. And this could be someone who's outside actually doing this. And somebody could be doing something with the water, creating ripples, doing some healing work out in the stars at night, the bird taking off to the stars or dreams coming true. And again, the arrows of love. This can happen to you if you're young at heart. So it's very much that energy of the bird taking off for the stars and a lot of back and forth energies. And again, this could be meditation, a meditation group, or just going outside at night, doing uh, perhaps doing healing with the waters. And this king of wands wondering what they're doing down there. And this could be like Aaron Brockovich too, or someone's trying to steal water at night to test it. Did I say your name right? I hope I did. But... I know she's doing some other, uh, she was getting involved in the Ohio explosion too, Aaron Brockovich. I think I read that somewhere. All right, so I just want to set these cards up for you. So after the truth, and this truth could have been from a lover or Gemini to the sovereign here, right? There's sovereign catch. And there's, look, the truth is coming in from one side and then the ace of wands from the other. So someone offering passion or growth or creativity or projects over here and someone offering the truth over here or perhaps their head on a platter. But this is the sovereign catch, right? The one who everybody wants. She's got everything she needs except for perhaps one to share it with. And now is getting multiple offers. And which kind of energy does she want? We have the lovers over here. This could be Gemini. And then there could be cancer with fire energy coming up the back, okay? Um, or offering a, a trip, a move, any of those kind of energies regarding lovers or Gemini and the prisoners of love, um, seeing synchronicities, having choices or confused actually what's illusion and what's real. The King of Wands taking a break or watching somebody else taking a break or checking out waters. And again, lots of back and forth there or the arrows of love, somebody admiring someone who looks like they may be taking off for the stars. So we have the we have Aquarius there too, with fire of the King of Wands and Gemini and earthy energies back here. And there's a lot of earth in your read with the king and queen of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the three of pentacles. So this could be a work and family um, together situation, but also could be small business versus big business. This could be a nursing home or a hospital as well. But a lot of earth coming up here along with the empress as well, who is earth because she's Taurus. So the main, the major arcana for you is the mother, the matriarch. All right, the mother, the grandmother, the female boss, the ones who's reti who's retired or is by the golf course or likes baseball, sits in a baseball mitt. Maybe someone's got a baseball mitt chair and and posting her heart in the window, so to speak, like this doggy in the window. Ruff, ruff. So I don't know why the doggy's coming up. Oh, so like, that's funny too, because Teddy's always in my window. So he's like an extension of my heart. There's kind of like that energy coming up. There's mother and daughter here energy between the Empress and the Queen of, of Pentacles. Again, these could be her two children. There could be grandchildren involved as well. That could just be their own inner children and a very deep connection there. But there could be a third party involved as well, or just mother and Child, these could be two good friends as well. They don't have to be mother and daughter. They could be sisters or friends. Just a lot of earth energy there. And let's see what else comes up. Oh, we have, can I'm sorry, we didn't see the moon here too. So there's Cancer, Major Arcana as well. Some people see that as Pisces, but for me it's definitely Cancer. 
but again the full moon was just here so those energies may have created some kind of block for you right now and again cancer and fire could be a challenge and a block for you right now the full moon creating some confusion with that seven of cups over here I'm connecting that why is the eight of wands in the underlying energy and we have the queen of cups reversed with the ace of pentacles reversed and this came up in another read today and this is someone sad and holding back right she should be the queen of cups focused on her heart presenting a big offer of time money and energy or ask or offering a new life for someone or just for everybody like offering them all of her time money and energy but the underlying energy here is someone who may have been tired or sad or depressed maybe it's someone who drinks too much but withholding trying to magnetize more energy perhaps before offering it or just doing more preparations before offering something new but there's a lot of energetic exchange going on here that could be someone who's just feeling all the energies coming in so it wasn't the right time to do it and we have the Emperor on the other side of that with the Knight of Pentacles reversed and he may be feeling stuck too okay so she may be withholding from the Emperor and he may be withholding as well but or this may be that this withholding is stopping him from moving on it's creating a block for him and he's kind of giving a sideways glance over there he's not giving her his full attention this also could be the emperor and two of his children or perhaps people who work for them and maybe he feels like this one is lacking not putting out as much as she should and this one's not either but in a lesser sense so but there's a lot of energetic exchange about that or some kind of healing or depression going on or the need for dreams to come true someone doing a lot of meditating there the two of swords in the recent past is the king of pentacles who's reversed so he's reversed here with the three of swords again which matches right here and here so he's going through some kind of disappointment or heartbreak or he could have heart issues literally he may have lost money independence and status here in a separation or getting a medical procedure this can just be disappointment as well regarding practical energies here whether it's money time or or effort made um, someone keeping to themselves trying to keep their energies clear um, valuing peace of mind surrendering to wounds no longer wanting to defend their wounds in the past no longer um, like you know they were on their last leg so they just stopped they're not doing that anymore this can be somebody else too right this is the separation between these two people and we did have the king of wands here in the underlying energies so let's see where that goes the foundation there is the two is the um, six of cups there's a lot of back and forth with them and the ten of swords reverse so this is the worst is over the bliss is coming in and making them happy and again self-satisfaction perhaps at the full moon someone felt very good because the uh, pain was finally over finally getting their wish and this could be at night or at the full moon or in a romance and there's the knight of cups offering love perhaps with delays delay after delay after delay in being released from their anxiety or prison or maybe wanting to offer love but then getting so anxious that they stop because they're not ready yet right maybe they're not ready for a rejection or no message in return or again this could be someone who cuts them out <laughs> right this could, this is the most immature communication in the deck or none at all so maybe a little bit afraid of what they might say in return but these are this is a soulmate connection there may have been a falling out in the past we'll have to see what the cards say the three of swords in the middle here for cancer the two of swords is reversed with new information clarity 
But remember, there's no peace of mind with that, right? When they were upright, that's peace of mind. And some people don't want to know more information because they know it might knock, knock them off balance. So this could be someone who gets knocked off balance a bit. As the Knight of Swords comes in with a delivery or a message of truth, or this can be uh, charging them with something or charging at them. And this is coming up with this, someone got knocked down. It looks like they're hanging out on like a, a beanbag chair or just camping out in the woods, covering one eye. Did they, did, they get, did they get hit in the eye? Did they have an eye surgery done? Or they had to protect their eye because they've had surgery in the past and somebody just came charging in without a thought regarding that and may have kicked up some dirt in their eye again. And that could be metaphorically speaking as well. And here we have the Page of Wands, you know, who's all over the place. This is someone who could be uninspired or just literally their energy is all over the place. You know, and it's like a kid, you know, who's just flailing all over the place with no concern because they don't realize they have to control themselves. And this is the challenge with the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles being present to all of this. So the Knight of Wands, so she would be responsible for the Page of Wands, right? So here's the Knight of Wands challenge, which is the Ace of Wands. There's new passion here, project, growth, or creativity here. And this is someone who may have been offered love in the past or kindness in the past many times but they always ignored it or perhaps were so in their own mind that they didn't even see it. They didn't realize that it, there was an offer from God right in front of their nose the whole time. But now they're coming back with big passion here, perhaps with a vengeance. Okay, coming back around or wanting to get closure here or complete a cycle or complete a project. This can be divine feminine in the 5D as well. or bored with the same old rounds and wanting something new. The Knight of Wands rushing in. But somebody challenged by that after being heartbroken or disappointed, not knowing whether they can trust this energy here. We have the King of Pentacles, and that can be in work as well, right? With projects getting scammed. And the King of Pentacles is crowning here. We know he's reversed. There is a happy family or a happy ending here, emotional fulfillment, the end of a cycle, and at the end of the rainbow, standing up for oneself, it's like that's the pot of gold, is, is finding one's power, standing up for oneself without getting triggered, without feeling intimidated by the group, because if this is true for you, it doesn't have, they don't have to agree, but they have to listen, to respect what they say and feel. So the end of the cycle, the end of the road, and finally being able to stand up to the King of Pentacles, perhaps. And there's the, the Six of Cups down here, which is reversed. So this is a falling out in the past or a negative childhood. Perhaps this is finally being able to stand up to a father who may have abused you or yelled at you a lot when you were a kid. And again, in that losing battle or ending a battle, right? Or maybe losing a competition. Maybe this was a very competitive family and the father always pitting the, the siblings against each other and the mother staying quiet but not agreeing or not seeing eye to eye perhaps with the knight of wands reversed here who may appear as a player or maybe he's just paralyzed by his own passions right or maybe he fell off a horse literally and now can't see eye to eye maybe he's in a chair so he can't see eye to eye with the high priestess and there could be some insecurities there. Or maybe feeling, maybe he doesn't feel good enough for her because she's very virtuous and he may be seen as a player. Or maybe he fell short of expectations and now is embarrassed about that. But I don't think she would think anything of that, but he, that's his, his perspective, his projection. So we have the seven of swords here for cancer. Who's the Seven of Swords? Okay, somebody walking away 
from something they put a lot into. Maybe they feel like they're stealing away or they're, they're being cheated or they're cheating someone out of something by leaving. They're feeling made to feel guilty about leaving. This sovereign energy, who's all that? Like, how could you leave this? Like, maybe you're married to this person and now you don't want to be with them anymore. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm all that. You're not going to do any better than me. But this is someone walking away from that and made to feel guilty, made to feel shunned, right? Leaving the gold tents over here. Why would you leave this? This is everything. And then we have the Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Cups upright. And this, and this, these guys were coming up on this card for, I think it was Gemini. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was Gemini because of the magician's Gemini energy. The Queen of Wands, you know, she could have a bad temper. Or maybe she's just tired of all this. Um, but we got the King of Cups, you know, who's the one who makes the magic. And I feel like she's doing this. And these could be sisters, or this is her personality. Um, she's doing this to put, push his buttons because she knows she can. This is the person who makes magic. So she's trying to make him feel guilty when he's actually the one who makes the magic here. And that could be the situation where one has the family money and one has the abilities, right? And she's like, you'll never make it without me, that kind of stuff. These also could be sisters. This could be a father who's very loving and always makes things happen for them, but maybe they're spoiled. And, or the children may be walking away from this, or one of them is. And this could be a, a couple in your family somewhere too who's not getting along right now, right? This could be a fire sign. So Leo, Sag, or Aries reversed. And then the King of Cups could be a water sign, but also could be Gemini here, perhaps Virgo as well. Anyway, there's guilt here. Someone being made to feel guilty. And then the Ten of Pentacles here. You are seeing yourself as the Ten of Pentacles, or like you, you are. You have everything you've ever wanted. Um, this is the Chariot, which is a bold move. It is the warrior that rises, the ascension, the move, the, the trip. This is very powerful. But the Ten of Pentacles is coming up reversed. It's like you're rising for this to fall. This could be spending family money as well, or the business's money, the community's money, or perhaps make it buying a car, right? That would be a big purchase, or you're buying a trip. This also could be dysfunctional family or family that's just gone through a loss. Maybe they lost some money or time or energy or lost a family member. And again, this could be a funeral procession. This also could be someone being taken to a nursing home or to the hospital. Or perhaps to just hang out with three generations of family. And again, the children who had a falling out with the family, no matter who that is, maybe they had a falling out with each other within this family but needing to come back to a reunion, perhaps, and then someone finally standing up to someone who may have abused them in the past or had a falling out with them in the past. And what's around you or how others might see you is this Three of Pentacles. And again, there's a lot of re religious church energy in this card, but it really, for me, is a card of procreation. Somebody could be uh, creating some kind of statue um, that can be school and presenting at school. This can be anywhere. It can be an art center. It can be a gym. It can be anywhere that you co-create. But there could be others, you know, who might judge you on this, on what you're doing. Or making a step up. This could be a cake. I'm getting a cake there, too. 
if you're a baker, you know, what's the new creation they've made? Three of Pentacles. And the King of Wands is on that card. And he may be stressed out or not sleeping well. He could be suffering in silence for his work, for his art, his art. You know, not sleeping, like he'll be up all night with his creation. And again, there could be a third party here. This could be also bad influences around him. Or he could be antisocial, right? Because he's so into his work. He stays up all night doing his artwork. And so people might see him as being antisocial. Or again, social distancing can come up here. You know, it's kind of like that van that tortured artist energy coming up right there and detoxing or after, uh, you know, breaking up with the ball and chain after detoxing from the devil or codependency or addiction. And again, divorce could be coming up there too. The block for you is the moon. So it could be some kind of romance here. And again, the truth coming in to set you free. I was going to say that before that card came up. Um, and then setting someone free from their nonstop work. You know, whether it's, it's something they love or not, maybe it's, it's just become too much. So the truth coming in to be able to set them free. And then maybe the truth setting them free sets them on their path of the love, the work that they really love, where they can churn things out one right after the other and never even realize that 12 hours has passed. So this may be a block, the full moon, the nighttime, that when the truth, maybe you get the truth or you get illuminations at night, and then all of a sudden you have to get up and do it. The queen of pentacles, and that could be a block for romance because you never know when you're going to be having enough sleep. And the queen of pentacles is upright, the king is reversed, the Queen of Pentacles is coming up with the Sun and Justice. So this could be a divorce for somebody. Because you have the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles right here. And that would come in the Queen of Pentacles' favor if that's the case. But this could be children as well and a judge or Libra. This could be people judge the kids and, and your spouse or somebody else is judging your work. And that could be at school as well with your kids. Maybe you're judging their work, right? Because they're presenting their artwork at school or a play or something like that. Or maybe the kids are involved in a competition with a judge at school or somewhere else. And again, something they work really hard on, the weight of the world. And, um, you know, needing attention for that. This could be getting a bad rap after working really hard. Or doing things under the radar to get attention as the page of wands and then the empress comes up here the page of wands is the five of swords reversed after the war is over the virus is over you know no more being the enemy the bad guy or seen as the bad guy having to cut people down and they're smiling there and they're not being aggressive they're being they're standing in their truth and if someone tries to attack them they'll send them away but they're doing it with a smile on their face so this could be a really you know, bad guy, or it could be someone who's just tired of everyone taking advantage of them. And now that war's over. No longer needing to be so on guard all the time, letting go of emotional attachments that no longer serve and not feeling guilty about it. And the page of wands reversed. If it came up yet. And again, choosing a new path here. And he's chose, the Page of Wands has chosen. They've made, made up their mind. Regarding this lover, it could be Gemini, King of Swords. Or choosing a new path away from the Gemini, King of Swords. It doesn't have to be a Gemini. Um, but there's definitely a lover here. And this could be the King of Swords as the Page of Wands coming in with a passionate offer between the Queen of Pentacles 
and the Empress there. The Empress is coming up as the Queen of Swords, offering some kind of information or talking to or about a higher love, about patience and balance, and the angelic realms, about divorce or alternative spirituality. This could be breaking a contract, marriage, um, leaving a religion or an establishment here for a higher love. And again, that could be a divorce. Maybe she's a divorcee. And rising above. Or not getting asleep. Or awakening and coming out. About puppy love. Or pure love. The innocence of love. Of overwhelm. Of the Page of Cups. Right, being pushed to the emotional limits, being triggered, or perhaps they're triggering in order to pull somebody in or get them to do what they want them to do. Right, this could be a child who has somebody wrapped around their finger, even have them lie, cheat, and steal for them, and that could be a pet. <laughs> so, what came up after that? is the Three of Wands, again being present in the moment, which is upright right there. And again, we could have mother and daughter, sisters, two earth signs here. We have Taurus and Cancer as the major arcana of romance of a mother, perhaps, and a daughter perhaps inspired by the mother here as well, or sisters inspiring each other. The Empress being present in the moment to an awakening or perhaps to others' egos or her own. And again, walking away and within when needed. Walking away from something she put a, a lot of emotions into and being strong, taming the beast or taming your pet <laughs> to keep them calm. Perhaps when the Hierophant comes in and this was reversed, And again, perhaps the need to, you know, keep your pet controlled when people come over the house. Or again, this could be taking your, your pet for a walk. And doing things, you know, in an alternative way, not the way society dictates. Like doing, and I'll do it my way. The Empress being present in the moment to an awakening perhaps of the mountains or taking a walk, walking away from all they put emotions into to find the missing piece, a sudden awareness or some kind of epiphany or explosion, some kind of sudden um, imbalance here of not sharing or the inequity, a sudden realization of the inequity of dropping the ball, of not working anymore, of breaking patterns, of giving too much, Let, letting people take you for all that you're worth kind of energy. And this, this, this two of pentacles is, you know, breaking the facade, dropping the facade, the act, which is destined here to get for the golden goose to get schooled here to make an announcement to wake up it's the energy of Gabriel and tooting their horn to wake up wake up already breaking patterns dropping the facade for high vibe energy for destiny to happen the wake-up call, or making the call to wake the dead, the collective up, to be strong in taming the beast, in a divorce, or in alternative spirituality, or breaking a contract of some sort uh, with societal norms. The two lovers out in the cold who have everything they need. The students of life inspired to learn and 
allow their dreams to come true and then shed light on it and take a look. Or perhaps looking at the water to see if it's clean. Or perhaps with your pet helping you out watering the plants and letting go, no longer holding on or laying your cards out on the table. Perhaps wanting to fix things with someone or fix the house. Getting over loss, regret, the past, to find peace away from issues at work, away from clinginess or away from exhaustion or near-death experiences or dark night of the soul, perhaps with the Empress reversed, right? Scorpio reversed and Taurus reversed or after a mother's passing or perhaps a mother who's not well maybe on hospice and then reaping the rewards of their efforts or not being able to perhaps passing that that legacy on to their children and that could be the empress I mean she may have already passed up here and this could be a child inspired by their legacy or inspired by what they did for them and wanting to do the same for their own children So let's see what the lover's oracle has for you, Cancer. Oh, as I just dumped. The bottom of the deck is embraced. Through each other, you find the missing pieces that you're walking away from to find. You have a bunch of hearts here. Wow. A trust transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. The second card says manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. And Gemini got that too, right? You always can walk away. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So remember to make your decisions from the heart. Okay. So again, some kind of separation or disappointment or heart. I wasn't really getting a lot of medical stuff coming up here, but this could be a hospital. Someone's having heart issues or getting a cardiac cath or something like that. Um, and this could be siblings coming together as well. And again, after a mother has passed. And again, after, perhaps after a difficult childhood or falling out with someone in the past, whether it's a best friend, a soulmate, or your sibling, um, being able to come together on the same page because now you, you've all come from the same experience, especially after a parent's passing. So maybe it's like this new bond with your sibling as well. It's funny because it, my brother's number came up for some reason after I hung up with someone today. I wasn't sure if he called me or not, so I called him back, and we don't talk a whole lot because he works a lot. So it's kind of funny that's coming up. So, Cancer, I hope that was helpful for you. There's definitely some romance looking like it's lurking for you to have patience and make a decision about a relationship. And again, there's the water energy coming up in the underlying energy, and beneath that was Venus. So I was guided to pick that up so you'd see it. And, can and Cancer is beneath that. Let's look at that, the underlying energy here. Cancer, Venus, and water. So again, the crab, to bring out your sensual side, the tower is right there. And that could be, the tower could be a sexual energy. And then we have the four of the emperor over here, and then the water of the queen of wands. Okay, so remember your water, your rest, your joy, your nature. Rise and be love, love and rise. I'll see you guys. Have an amazing spring, Cancer. I'll see you soon. Bye.